I'll do so. Yeah, my friends judge me. Hello and welcome to Neat and Not by the Sea, Floss Tube video number 14. Um, as you can tell, Hello. this is coming to you slightly differently tonight because New Zealand is in its currently in its, in its second national wide uh, lockdown. So we are both recording in our own homes. So this may or may not all go to shit. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I've just, I was wondering, how do we know it's recording? I've just seen it. <laughs> It. Yep, no, yep. it's recording according to my screen too. So I yep, apologize. Right. There's probably going to be no eye contact with the camera tonight because I don't know how this shit works. Um, apparently I'm sweary too. Uh, so just in mm. case you're wondering, it's Tuesday the 24th of August. I think it's only about 10 days so, in our last video. So for people outside of New Zealand, we're in the future. We are in the future. <laughs> um, yeah, so... so so this is your you're you're having a sneak peek at Victoria's um, craft room. This is supposed to be my now. beautiful and very ornate craft room, but at the, it has been my junk room, and at the moment it's my office with piles of stuff in each corner. Hence, there's the Disney princess bag with I believe that I'm not sure whether that's got like um, receipty stuff or whether that's actually got some crafty stuff on it. Sitting on top of the cat scratching post behind me is Big Ben and Lego. On this side, you oh, can see... Oh, I thought it was a clock tower from the <laughs> no, university. No, that's Clearly not. <laughs> Very good. And there's my, my summer fan, which you use about twice a year in New Zealand. <laughs> Behind that is the camping chair. <laughs> and right. no craft inside. <laughs> I, on the other hand, don't have an office. Mm. I, um... Sorry. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> just, we've had, we just had tea. Competition tea. Um, so, you know, there are other things. Um, I don't have a home office. I tend to work um, here at the dining room table. I have a craft room, but it's small and very, very full, very messy with tools as well, like um, like building tools. So here I am. I'm giving a, a slightly different shot because sometimes we go over there. But I also, we, we've been doing cleaning recently. We, we. <laughs> I don't, there is no dust. There is no dust. <laughs> I'm sure we can tell on the video. Looks just mm -hmm. thick and span. No, because I'm not going to run my finger on it. <laughs> no I know lines all the tricks. Um, anyway, oh. so this probably will end up being quite short because um, I haven't really gone out. <laughs> yeah, you'd think we'd manage to get lots of crafting done. So we are, this is day seven of the I lockdown. have. <laughs> I just haven't gone out oh yeah so let's talk let's talk lockdown first okay should we talk lockdown okay so we're in day seven from what my understanding is is that new zealand does lockdown so we're at the, the highest level level four at the moment and we seem to be quite i don't know if ruthless is the right word but the only things open are the supermarket the petrol stations and the pharmacies and the doctors um so there's no takeaways there's no i want to pipe up you pipe up, go for it. I don't think it's ruthless. I think we're trying to keep people alive and, you know. Okay, ruthless is not the right word. Um, because I know a lot of it's other countries. It's more challenging. It's more challenging for people. More challenging. It's Even really people that don't have different. takeaways, the minute you're not allowed takeaways, you're like, oh, takeaway. <laughs> like, yep. uh, pro tip, um, we do have takeaways. I'm not bothered about takeaways because I'm a vegetarian and I live not in town. So it's boring. I can have chips and I can have a spring roll. On occasion, the spring roll has had meat, so I don't trust the spring roll. Yep. Um, so I, I just have chips when the family have other more interesting things. Oh. Or um, on occasion, I've ordered a mushroom burger and it turns out to be a beef burger with a mushroom. So that's oh. a no as well. Yeah. Also, you pay more, but they just take the meat off. So I'm not, not having that. Yep. Um, so my pro tip was um, we just go to the four square locally, which is like a expensive supermarket expensive because it's in small towns mostly yeah, it's, it's a um, step up from a dairy but a step down from a supermarket and a dairy is a corner shop yeah. outside yeah. of new zealand maybe australia says dairy as well i don't know anyway so what we did is we bought the food that we don't wouldn't normally eat at home so we had uh, little onion bhajis and um, little pakoras um just stuff like that like kind of fast food stuff but it was ready made so it comes in a box and it's frozen and there was jalapeno balls which of course we're fans of yeah um and, so we just... them and i went out and bought some <laughs> they're great um so that kind of felt like a treat yeah and i'm i'm back on the like too much ginger beer 
I'm not oh, too concerned from a health perspective. I just think, oh, Catherine, you have so li- so few vices in real terms. Oh my God, it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, this but- time round, my drink has been Charlie's fresh squeezed orange juice, which is orange juice with the pulp in it. That has nice. been what I've been craving and drinking. Oh, interesting. Vitamin C. You want yeah. to vitamin C. And the food has been honey roasted peanuts, <laughs> which are delicious. I hate to think yeah, I'm not bothered. And I don't want to try your I don't want to try your snack because it's got sugar and I don't want to like develop a taste for sugar. Oh, that's a good wise move. A wise move. So on um on non non-foodie news, um, but lockdown news, um, we, we still get the newspaper delivered because my, my husband's yeah. analog. <laughs> he likes to do his crossword, which is great. Sometimes he comes to me for textile questions, it's great. I oh, is, are that. they still having their office quiz in the morning? I don't think they are because um, I think they're a little bit busy because they, they suspect um, that the, the Delta is going to come with changes. So they're kind of prepping for that. Sure. Preparing, prepping Sunday bad. Um, yes. Yeah, so he gets his crossword. So it, it has to be in, pe- on, in paper form. Um, and I just, I just glance at the paper. I'm not interested. Um, and um, there was something about in some town somewhere in, in Otago, because it's a newspaper for the Otago region, they were asking for people to go, put their teddy bears back in their windows because so that the kids had something different to look at because you're allowed to go for exercise walks. Yeah, and so, so I put the dollies in my window. All my dollies are out. I noticed I there was a photo Instagram. on your Instagram. Yeah, I posted on Instagram, but they you can see them really well from outside. But the, the sun was shining, and, and so the photo's terrible. But I'm just quite excited because I've put them out. You can see them all. They They're kind of light. fitting if you can't stand them up. And then halfway through the morning, I was like, hang on a minute. They haven't got their quilts. So I went and <laughs> rolled up their quilts, and I put them as well. It was, so it's very beautiful. Um, so I'm, quite, I'm, I'm needy. I'm, I'm waiting for people to, like, stand there and go, oh, that's cute. Oh, so anyway, doing my bit for the little kids um, around Port Chalmers. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so for those that don't know, in the first lockdown that New Zealand had last year, um, the idea was to put teddy bears and dolls and things in the windows. Then the kids could go on like a bear hunt and see how many they could count. And they had a lot of fun out of it for something that was yeah. very easy to do. My neighbour never took us down. No, quite there. a few teddies are still in the window. Yeah, and farmers um, built teddies out of hay bales as well, um, which of course have stayed in, in the fields. That's cute. So. <laughs> It is challenging, but I'm all pro lockdown from a, from a health point of view. We have a lot Absolutely. of poorly people now and we want them to be well and we want them to um, survive the, the infection and also um, just put, not to put too much stress on our, our health service as well. Because it's tough, you know, people that work in the health service also have families, exactly. also have people um, that they want to go home to. Yeah, so, I fully support the lockdown. I'm, mm. I'm lucky I'm able to work from home. So Me too. It hasn't entirely... You know, it's other than the fact that I've got a wonderful commute, it's pretty much a normal day for me. Oh, yeah. except that I haven't worn a bra in seven days. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe you've told me that. You are not allowed to edit that out. I wasn't going to. Okay. I've got like a sports crappy See, top thing on, I'm but totally no wonder why I've got it now. I'm very indoctrinated because I did. Um, you need to watch the Fat Squirrel Speaks because she often talks about like just house bras, like those sporty, flimsy yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had about seven years of my life where I didn't wear a bra. Oh no! Um, it was, and, um, it was like twelve. People were shocked when I went to Peru. Around. There was there was shockness. People did not like it. Oh. Um, but I was just too cheap because I I like pretty underwear and I couldn't afford. That was in the depths of being a stay at home mum. Like you know, I could afford organic food, but I couldn't afford like fancy underwear. So I was like, no underwear. We're just <laughs> it's not matching and pretty. <laughs> we're giving we're giving up on the bras. Oh, each to their own. <laughs> did you need to know that? Oh. Okay, so now we've lost 300 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As you can tell, we haven't been out much this week or at all. Yes, um, and we're not really bothered. Have you oh, noticed yeah. um, that we never do the subscribe thing? <laughs> we're that bothered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay so- comments about bra wearing. No, don't comment. <laughs> Burn the bra. Actually, no, because... I could not not wear a bra to work. I do like bras. They're so pretty. Yeah. I've been thinking of making my own, actually. I've been thinking of making my own knickers. Well, because you did a course, didn't you? You said when you I did a course, but it was too hot. 
I couldn't concentrate, it was so hot. I was very needy. Um, and also, Victoria, nothing's that hard. <laughs> the only hard thing about it is that you haven't done it before. It's only just a little bit of a learning curve. And also, never seek perfection. I don't seek perfection, so I'm sure my knickers would be fine. <laughs> Except the Ladies. Ladies. Really intentional. I mean, if the lockdown goes on for a while. Oh, yeah. Um, well, hopefully yeah. so. I, mean, I do have to say, I do have to say it's hard for my 19-year-old. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, Sophia stayed in Wellington. Yeah, Sophia has stayed in Wellington and she has a job. Um, and in fact, she was helping out with the vaccines. So that oh, good she sent a photo of herself and she had like a pen in her hand. Um. And I sent her a funny comment about, you know, her pen being her mighty sword or something like that. And she was like, yes. <laughs> so she's seen it. lots of people because of her job. Um, and she's fully vaccinated as well. So she's nice and safe. Excellent. Well, so you and I have both had, for those that are interested, we've had one dose of the vaccine. Yes, we both had one. And um, our friend Diana gave me the tip that they were doing um, uh, a pop-up a pop pop thing at the Edgar Centre. So we were able to take Christina. Martin took Christina because I wasn't allowed to leave the house because I also had a, you had a COVID, COVID test a couple of weeks back, didn't you? Because you're uh, yep. a good citizen. that last cold, yep. Yeah, and I waited way too long, but I've had a COVID test now. <laughs> um, so I wasn't allowed to leave the house, um, which suited me fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, Christina was able to go and get her first vaccine. Oh, excellent. Two days ago. So that, that felt better because she was a bit, she was like, oh, Delta is much harder. And I was like, yes, as soon as we can vaccinate you, sweetie. Um, so that went really well. And it was just, it was just a, a chance comment by um, a friend of mine from work. So that was excellent. So for those that are interested, is it teenagers, is it 12 and up or 16 and up? And now... Um, oh, it didn't, the, she wasn't, because she's 19, she wasn't allowed to just rock up. Yeah. You could only rock up if you were between 12 and 15. Oh, okay. With a parent when they were doing the parent. Yeah. And, and Marty and I had got done already, so we couldn't take her. <clears throat> but because of this extra pop-up, um, which attracted lots of people, it was great, yeah. um, she was able to go and get vaccinated. Excellent. No, but, it just, is, it, but it is hard. I mean, she's 19. She's she's a bit like me. She's quite introverted. Um but appears very sociable, which, and she is to an extent. So it's just hard because Marty and I are just not that interesting to a 19-year-old. Although we're doing food competitions. Um, so we're cooking and competing and all that shenanigans. So we're trying. We're coming up with ideas. To kind I don't of, think I've seen tonight's offering. Has that gone up on Instagram yet? There's a lot of mayonnaise in tonight's offering because you can take the man out of Yorkshire, <laughs> but you can't take the Yorkshire out of the man. <laughs> We all like mayonnaise, so they're all funny. Like he spent all day preparing things. And oh, good on like him. He's a planner. The man's a planner. Good on him. But on, on a oh, I can't show you now. But oh my god, that one of the one of the criteria was how clean your kitchen is. When you when when we sit down, we can look at the kitchen and see how clean it is. Spotless. Oh, nicely done. I'm one I of know. those cooks that uses every dish in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. But even if it's supposed to be a, a one pot meal. <laughs> Yes, it still terrible. takes me 12. Yeah, I lost lots of points because my kitchen was not. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, so um, so yeah, so that's lockdown. Go New Zealand. We can do this. Yep. We can we can beat this, I'm sure. Yep. Um, so hopefully we'll be out on the South Island, maybe out on Friday, because currently there are no um confirmed cases in the South Island. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna change. I hope that we don't come. Um, I hope they don't take us out of lockdown right for the weekend. No, it seems odd. I would have thought they'd extend it through to, um, you know, end of Sunday at least. But, oh, well, I'm sure they know what they're doing. They're um, following the advice that's been given. So, yeah. And also, you know what? You know, I don't have a, I'm not self-employed. I don't have a small business. I mean, it's really tough for people. It's, it's tough out there. And apparently not everybody crafts. Oh, I... Yeah. And what I was going to say with New Zealand's quite restrictive, because there's a better word, I can't remember what I said before, um, but oh, there's quite around rules about what can operate. So you can't, you can't order things online to be delivered unless it is classified as an essential item, like food or um, a printer maybe, because if you're working from home and you need a printer. Yeah. 
Um, and this is better, craft actually. supplies do not <clears throat> come under there, under this category as essential items. Yes, and I have really um, struggled with that this week. <laughs> yeah, you did send me a cheeky text. <laughs> Can I run in and get these things? Oh, <laughs> I know. Because apparently yeah. all I wanted to do this week was shop. Yes, yeah, it's, it's that thing of being told you can't. Yeah, yeah. I've gone weeks without buying anything. Now this week, all of a sudden, I need to buy and print things. So, yeah. I mean, it, the way my brain has worked is that I'm desperate to buy something, and I think, no, no, you're not allowed to put pressure on the postal service. Stop it. Mm. So that that actually is quite handy for me. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. It was because I follow lots of knitters in New Zealand and abroad as well um, on Instagram, and there's been a few comments online about this company's delivering. It's not right. Which mm, I don't like the tone. I don't like the tone. We all in for this to work, so yeah. Well, yeah but also, you know, <clears throat> Jacinda did say we don't ask New Zealanders to be the police. We have a police force. That is true. That is yeah. True. But just because to, to to take the aggravation out of it, which is hard, because sometimes I think, oh my god, two meters is longer than that. Move out my way. But of course, you don't say anything. You just walk with your mask on which I forgot today I left the house without a mask on for my three minute walk because I missed time <laughs> myself anyway anyway lots of chit chat. we're doing okay in New Zealand people yep. are on the whole being good Catherine and I are great at the moment we did we had a wee Skype craft session on Saturday yes that was lovely it was, it was long. long we could it just both hours. it was great yep. both um, in our own beds fully comfort Catherine I, a star snoring in the background is that what I can hear oh yeah that's my dog <laughs> we love her um excuse me i do have to say it was weird that you didn't come to my house it was weird yeah. that i was like oh victoria's coming and she's not not no so anyway nope. anyway so crack on with this eh all that to say i do have some shopping that arrived but i had ordered it a couple of weeks back so do i but mine was ordered back in june i wrote down the date that i ordered it that's cool yeah. so anyway it's like 20 minutes of chit chat now probably oh, um, the time there's so no time like we normally i hope do. people skip if they're not interested sorry yeah. all oh, right and by the way i've got covid lockdown skin can you see oh, I've got no have you gone I dry kind of of like um have gone dry like you wouldn't believe yeah like yeah i get really dry and of course my friend said oh, is it your allergies i was like oh yes because it's beautiful weather so it must be like the spring allergies are starting. But honestly, I've got really attractive patches. Oh, like, you can't tell from these wonderful quality recordings right. creating. <laughs> you could tell if there was spinach here, though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, um, anyway. So, um, do you do you want to start? Do you have any FOs, Victoria? No, I have no FOs. Do you have? You any have no FOs. No. Oh, but I know someone who does. Oh, let's clap gently for people with headphones. Sorry, people. Um, okay, so I finished. I have been in a let's get it done mood. And, you know, 10 days was only enough for one thing. So I have finished my thing of beauty. Oh, yay. Oh, so this is, yay. So I'm not. Yes. <laughs> so this is done. I just, after we met up, I was just like a machine. I was like, I'm just going to get this finished. Um, I'll take it out. So this was. This was my plan. I saw some, someone on, on Instagram that I haven't been able to find them again, so I don't know their name, but it was a person from Japan selling. I think she was selling patchwork, like purses and things. But she just, in one photo, she just happened to have a little basket, not like that different sort of basket, but she had her cross stitch covering it. And I was like, oh my God, I need that. You sent me the link. So if you want it, I've probably still got it. Oops, bit of thread. <coughs> That was probably quite important. Okay, yes. So I kind of feel like it's nice to um, mention the name of, of someone if they've inspired you. Mm. So I finished and ironed. Looks beautiful. The iron has been out twice this week. Oh, Very disconcerting. Um, okay, so if you remember, I said I would leave this a, a bigger space here because it allows me to hang it with one of those skirt hangers in the future if I want to, because I'm moving into a very small house when we retire. Um, I'm, I, I won't have time, a, a space to have all sorts of things out. So I, I thought this hanging system would work and I wouldn't want to squash the, the stitches 
which is why I thought this was a good a good amount to leave. The one generous bit in my, my work, look at my edges. In fact, one edge, look at that. Look at the difference here and here. <laughs> I'm really pleased. I did run out of thread. Oh, I thought you had like half a thread. When I finished this, there was this much thread left. Mm -hmm. But if you notice the design, this should continue uh, just to hit to this point mm -hmm. and to have these bits that stick out. Right. But Did I you ever find like one of the other to me. On the screen, it kind of looks like it's wonky, but it isn't. It's no, it looks right. right. Anyway, I'm so pleased. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. If you come across a design with these stars, they are so potato chippy. <laughs> you just want to keep going. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, and I don't know what these were. They're a bit weird. They're almost like um, a satellite dish, the massive ones. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think they had them when they had the Bristol Orphanage. Right. And as you can see, my three colours, orange, red, redder. <laughs> well, if you find either the orange or the red, you could finish those co those that coru pattern if you were... Nah, I'm not bothered. This is done. I am done. It's lovely. So anyway, this is it. This is... Um, and this is the... Um, Jane Greenoff book um and this is a, a red bristol sampler beautiful I'll link it, it it's been linked for a few weeks now so and I'm very happy I'm a cheap happy like someone was very generous then my one dollar basket and my found thread from a project a long time ago so anyway that is FOs that's FOs excellent what about Work in progress. Whips. Have you got any whips? No, not. I've got. Whips I've got non-cross stitch whips That's to share. Fine. Well, I've got cross stitch whips. So let's start with what I was looking for before this meeting. So this is <laughs> Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think this picture is going to get any clearer. <clears throat> Please forgive us. Right. Here she is. So I have worked on in the last ten days. Uh, that leaf motif motif there, that weird motif there, that one there, and I'm part way through that. So I was just done a little bit, but this one's coming along very nicely. That looks really beautiful. I I've seen progress this time that I don't think I'd noticed before. Like the birds, they're new to my eye. No, no, I've done a whole whole file for um, last floss tube videos update. Yeah, because I'm normally not watching it because we sit next to each other and then we put it for the camera. Exactly. It's very beautiful. Are you halfway yet? Not quite, I don't think. Okay, my second one is this um, Winter Rose Manor by With Thy Needle and Thread. Of Which course. You love. Yep. I've been working on the pincushion. And here it is. I've done a bit more on that. Where are we? So I've done not the bird face or the bird feet, but the body, some leaves. And I don't think you can see it there, but I've done the top part of the jardinier, I think, that they're sitting on. But you can't quite see it because it's quite a crack camera. No, you can. You can see quite a lot of detail. Excellent. What was the colour of your fabric? Um, there is, is it Silvery Moon by num uh, number 12 Stitch Co? Okay. I found out on the Instagrams. Um, she used to own a quilt shop as well. Did she? She must be a very cool person. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, because she posted a photo of her cross stitch on a quilt, as you do when you have quilts to do that with. Um, and I was like, oh, and you quilt too. And she goes, I used to own a quilt shop. Oh, she's very, like very sweet. Cool Nicola, isn't it? She's very sweet. Uh, so this <laughs> is the Red House Sampler by the Sampler Company. I can't see what I'm showing. You've done tons on this. I have. So I've started the alphabet. I have done that line of trees there and that line of flowers up there. So this one is have, uh, quite nicely. You have giant hair. Yeah, look, the giant hair or the small moose. I'm not quite sure which one. <laughs> the grass is really long, so I suspect a small moose. <laughs> <laughs> they um. <laughs> I really like those, love the flowers. Oh, like the I, one that you had to redo and the pink one. I think it's yeah. so beautiful. I'm loving this pattern. It's such a nice one to do. What color is your alphabet? 
The alphabet is a dark brown. All the same? Yep. It looks kind of a little bit, now it looks all the same, but before it looked like maybe there was changes. No. But is it variegated threads or DMC? It's all DMC, but it's not variegated. It's just the bulk. There's that one in my nice. last, um, whip. I did a little bit more on Merrily Merrily. We were from spring. I love that one. Um, I hadn't touched this one in a couple of weeks, so it was nice to get back into it. And I have finished the flower border at the top. Well, mostly finished. Um, and done the first line of alphabet. Oh, and you're, you're already doing the turn? Yep, I've started the turn in this corner. Have not done the turn in that corner. They almost look like bees fluttering. Yeah, it's really a sweet. Little, yeah, I love I love those dainty borders. They're so cute. Yep, a little bit tedious to do, I've discovered. <laughs> so I'm not sure how my other ones are gonna go. <coughs> oh, sorry, this is yeah. this is the most talking I've done in quite some time, and obviously the old throats. Not quite mm. there. But that, that's all my whips that I've done in the last 10 days. Oh, my God. That's so just what you said about I don't talk to anybody. That's so true. <laughs> you just don't talk to people. No. Um, I mean, I do a little bit. Of my, my, my work tends to be a little bit more collaborative than you. You could go for hours and not have to talk to anybody. Oh, whole days. Once you've got instructions. Yeah. No, well, I know what I'm doing in advance. So unless I've got questions, I don't talk to anyone. Yeah. Um, Look, I'm in contact with my family, but it's all via text because who 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 really makes a phone call these days? It's weird, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I find that um I find phone calls weird, but I can do a a, a face call, not yes, face, face call, phone. no problem. But looking, if it's a video call, is what I mean. Yeah. You're kind of I'm okay with that, but if I have to go like this. It's like I am uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, so shopping. Shall have you got any cross stitch to shop? Is that it? That's all my whips. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I do have um, craft pantry. I'm not a shopper, but <laughs> I did text Victoria just an hour ago saying, "My, I'm not a shopper, but arrived." <laughs> <laughs> um. In non non craft related news, I am now a graduate. I have graduated. This is related to the craft shopping, by the way. Yeah. I am now a graduate. My um, remember, I was doing the MBA and then I stopped at the diploma. Yeah. <clears throat> so I was allowed to graduate. I graduated in absentia. Excellent. And initially, I thought that what I had arrived was my certificate for my diploma, and it wasn't. It was the thing of beauty. So That's more exciting than your certificate. I have to build it out for that. Okay, my first amazing purchase is this. So I went to an op shop with Max uh, to a part of town that we don't. So we went to South Dunedin. I never go to South Dunedin op shopping, not really. Maybe once a year. Anyway, yeah. why did we? Why did we end up there? For some very good reason, we ended up there. And I walk into the op shop. I'm, I'm a seasoned op shopper. Can I just say? And literally, I opened the door and my eye went, dee, 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 and I spotted it on a table. I was like, I'm taking that home. So <clears throat> I have shown books by this company in the past. I just didn't realize it was that old because this is a Batsford book. I have, I have talked about, my, I've shown my Batsford books here, the ones that have the beautiful velvety. Yes. Yep. It's the same Every company. Covers. Yeah. This is a tome. This is history. This mm. ain't. Um, like black and white, the history of. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm super it's excited about this because this is right on my street. I'm, I'm all about. And now, of course, I'm on the lookout because they've got, they've got, they've got patchwork. They've got patchwork. They've got patchwork quilts, quilting, and pin, pin cushions. So I'm like, ooh, maybe well, another option. Well, we because apparently I don't know what the difference between patchwork, patchwork quilt, quilts, and quilts are. Um, <laughs> they all just the same well no because you could have a quilt that's not patchworked it's one piece of cloth yeah so yep. that's a whole cloth quilt whole cloth quilt yes okay um and you could have quilting that is not quilts so you could have like they used to have do petticoats were quilted at one point um right. and you could have patchwork that's like bags and 
whatever, but don't end up being a quilt. I think they were kind of over <laughs> doing something there. Anyway, I'm very excited about this. And it's got, um, <clears throat> it's by Averill Colby. So this must be British. <clears throat> Essex, England. So I'm very excited. But it's got great things like origins and pattern books, flowers, fruits, and trees, men, birds, beasts, flies, and fishes. And I love it when people say fishes. It's my favorite. And when people say roof instead of roof, love it. Oh, roof. <laughs> roof. Love it. So anyway, then they've got, so they've got 12 chapters. One, and towards the end is like 16th century, 17th century, 18th century, 19th century, 20th century. Super cool. Nice. A dollar. A dollar, I tell you. But I and think then, it's a broom and goodbye. Yes. And is then, it um, in it or is it just text and... I don't have, they don't have patterns that you would go, oh, I will, I'll, do that. Yeah. I'll follow the pattern, but you know, you can figure it out. Yeah. Um, but the nice thing is as well, that the lady that served me in the op shop, she was an embroiderer. So she was like, oh, are you an embroiderer? And I was like, yeah. She was like, are you in the guild? I was like, no, it's just too <laughs> much talking to other people. <laughs> She's very good though. Cause she didn't, she didn't try and convince me. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited about this. It's, it's by my bed in, the, in what I like to call the shanty because <laughs> I am messy. So that was one amazing purchase for a dollar. So someone made a comment that I balance it out like $60 on something and then like a dollar on something so evens out mm -hmm. in my head. So my <laughs> other book that arrived, remember I'd, I'd bought something in Wellington and I'd bought something that I already had. <laughs> yeah, your 49 year old brain. <laughs> and this company, it's a Canadian company and it's called Uppercase and they do magazines but she also brings out these what she calls encyclopedia of inspiration oh, oh it's just so good she does a cool thing so if you're in Canada I hope you have this because it's amazing there's a few topics but she also does this cool thing where like this is my cover I could choose to have this as my cover oh, and she also has two other covers here it's so cool so, she always does that. And these are amazing. I think this was a Canadian potter. So anyway, I love ceramics. It's another thing that I kind of collect, even though I try not to collect because I want to retire at some point. <laughs> anyway, it was very great. I recognized a few of the, uh, of the potters in this. So that's always exciting. Um, and people sort of kind of self, self they can be, they can self-nominate and just email her and say, oh, can I be included in you? She, she puts a call out. Nice. Democratic. Um, you're welcome to have a look at these um, when you're here, Victoria. Excellent. So if you're, if you're a person like me that um, likes ceramics as well as textiles, this is really worth it. She's got a few, a few titles um, that are to do with textiles and this one for ceramics that I was very tempted by. They've got one for yarn, but as I said before, I don't really buy superwash yarn and it seemed to be superwash heavy, although I only flick through it. I don't know. Anyway, I was tempted by this. It is very good, very beautiful. It's like a coffee table book that you will keep forever. See, I don't think, did your last, the one that you took back, did that have a loose cover on it, a book jacket? Yes, yes. I don't remember that, but okay. Oh. Same idea. I posted it back. They were so lovely. So this is Minerva Bookshop in um, Wellington. In Wellington. And I think their Instagram handle is Minerva on Cuba. Nice. It is on Cuba Street. Yeah. The cool streets in Wellington. The cool, one of the cool streets. Um, they were super lovely because I sent it back and they sent it clearly on the same day because it arrived the day after. It was amazing. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. So I got that. One day, Catherine and I will have a map of New Zealand with us and we can point out where these places are. For those That's that don't right. know, a little bit of that. geography. I, I also think it's nice to, um, when we figure out where people are from, people that comment and, and like our floss too, we can Ooh, I like that also idea. figure out where they are. Yeah, put a pin in the map. I like that idea. Yeah. But, you know. So now we're going to need two maps. We're going to need a New Zealand map and a global map. World map. Yes. Um, so... I haven't talked about other crafts, which is really all I've done. Can I talk um, about my shopping? Yes. Oh, and we can save the thing of beauty for after. <coughs> exactly. Yes. Go so, on. 
You may recall I showed this pattern, which is a free one from Al Forest Embroidery. Oh, yes. Way back in, must have been June. And I decided that I was going to buy the called for colours, which I think are produced by Al Forest Embroidery, which is a Russian company. And so I ordered these threads back on the 21st of June. And I thought, okay, I know they take a bit longer to get to New Zealand. So eight weeks and, you know, that'll be fine. So eight weeks came and went and I had come to the conclusion that it had just got lost in the mail somewhere. It would just be a small package and with everything that's going on, it's just disappeared. So I'd almost reordered. And then the other, on Saturday when I was talking to Catherine, I heard the letter, uh, the mailbox open and shut. So I've got a metal one, so you hear it every time. So the minute that I hung up with Catherine, I went out. She was trying to hang up faster and I was I like, was. No, I was like, Catherine, the mail been been. I want to hang up. Minutes. Here they are. They are just gorgeous. I'm not sure if this they are is very beautiful. Justice. justice. They're all varig variegated. Can you, can you put your hand behind them? That's it. They're all I love. I can see that the yellow is variegated, but I love that next one, like the oranges well, the, and the terracotta. The red one, it's beautiful. Yes. And the green and also, beautiful. and that's a a, a grey, sort of slaty grey would come out quite black on this video, but it's just lovely. And they come with cool little owl floss drops. Catherine has, Catherine has sent me on a merry little rabbit hole down the YouTube with floss drops this week. Um, decided that we want to make it, or I want to make my own. And I went down the, oh, I'll just get business cards printed and put a stamp in it. And then That's I went from down Mama the- Mama Loves GB, isn't it? Pardon? That's from Mama Loves GB. Uh, there is um, that lady- Yes. In England, in Wales, actually, I should say. She lives in Wales, and it was her idea that you can do floss drops cheaper by oh. printing business cards. And yep. you have gone. And then I went right to the other way. I was like, okay, how much are the big stamps that I can like make out of recycled cards and things like that? And so then I was all on um, on the websites looking for these stamps, and I found them. And then, of course, it's COVID, so I can't buy them. So, <laughs> so you know, okay. when the internet shops open up again, I will be poor. Oh, um, no, don't buy them. Wait until we can go out for a coffee on a Saturday and like hang out. All right. If we're if we're, if you're not buying two, them online. If we're on level two this week, we're going out on Saturday. I've right. already told my mum we're gonna go out for tea on Saturday. We want to go to um the lovely Mexican place and get a margarita. Which one? Um we go to Ellie Cantina. Oh yeah, that's a nice place. And this is a needle binder. It's got a pumpkin on it because I was in the pumpkin mood when I ordered it. I don't think that makes any difference. You, if you hide your face, it focuses better, apparently. Oh, hide my face. I could have just worn a mask on this whole flustery video. I wouldn't have mind. Can you put it near your screen? I think then it goes out of... Lower, lower down? Oh, no, that's good. That's good. It's kind of a pumpkin. We can see a pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, I'll reshot once we're doing anyway. So I've got that ready to start. Um, that is all my... Oh, one more thing. You probably can talk more to this, Catherine. But we received stitchy mail. Um, oh. Catherine entered. Will you want to say how we got this? Yeah. So, sorry. Victoria is born and bred New Zealander. Woo. So she thinks that eating a lot of pumpkin is fine. <laughs> so this is one of our running jokes because I'm born and bred Peruvian, where pumpkin is something that you put into a meal, and so you could have like a slice of pumpkin for four people to share inside a stew, and that's fine. Um, Victoria has been the recipient of pumpkin from my house. We use the whole the pumpkin and put, make pumpkin soup. It's delicious. Yeah, so kiwis love pumpkin, um, which is great. So anyway, Most it was funny to me. It was funny to me that Patchy Pony Stitcher, who has her floss tube, um, I think she's called Mel. Um, she had finished this, and so she had a giveaway. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try and win this for Victoria because that would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, she I won. Win. And what's it? It's called the Pale Pumpkins Pin Cushion Stand and Scissor Fold. And it's gorgeous. I'm going to do it. Now, I'm well, a bit traumatized, aren't you? Pardon? You're I a bit traumatized by the lack of flosses. There's no flosses numbered about which ones I'm supposed to get. I didn't cope. You're hilarious. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll work something out. Yes. Super happy anyway. anyway. I'm make that scissor fold. Yes. It's super cute. Yes. And I have also purchased some other patterns on Etsy this week, but I'm not going to show them because I don't have a printer. 
apparently it's at mum's house because <laughs> I had a wee mad tear around at lunchtime looking for it and I um, emailed my mum and she said she's got it we'll text her next so, time then next but time just before we um <clears throat> before we move on just yeah. a shout out to Mel at Patchy Pony Stitcher yes thank you very much yeah so if you like um I think I've given her we've given her a shout out before but if you like listening to floss tubers that have a, a life that's kind of different to yours and and sort of hear different accents and different life perspectives um i like mel you know she has a, a lifestyle block in australia i actually don't know if she has a proper farm like a like a business farm but she lives on on land and she has horses and she's all about the horses lovely and she works for an airline she told us the other day i love it when people let slip things about their their real life <laughs> I like that sort of thing. I'm very interested in, in humans. So I'm, I'm far more interested in humans than animals. Um, so I really like when people share those things. So there you go. Go and give her a follow. Nice. Sorry, Come I on. laugh because your dog star just did a massive snore and it came right through. <laughs> we still love her. Oh, God. Um, I think that was it. Excellent. So Sorry. next time, hopefully we're out of lockdown hopefully and then you can print out your things and we can talk about that designer yeah i know which designer it is you just couldn't help yourself could you no, i couldn't i couldn't i saw it on a <laughs> i can say i watched um uh, mama loves you gb michelle uh, floss tube this week and she was doing a couple of patterns that i saw and i thought oh i said i'd never do this sort and i totally just went and bought them oh speaking of um I, I said I would never do this sort of thing. This is my ort and leftover bits. Yeah. Because remember how we were talking about, like, I am going to be a person that makes drums? Yes, yes. So I'm saving filler now. That's from my mostly quilting. Nice. nice. See, this is, this is why it's interesting to, um, to watch people that are different from you because... You know, this is someone that lives in Wales. She lives in Cardigan. Can I just say, you have to be a knitter if you live in Cardigan, right? Well, she's an effort crafter, so she probably is a knitter. Somewhere. I don't know if she's a knitter, but I've only watched two of her episodes, so I want to go back and delve. Because some people are like quiet knitters and they keep their floss tube just about floss. I don't follow such rules. Um, but I thought, oh my God, if you lived in Cardigan, you would have to be a knitter. It would just, it's just so perfect. I was very jealous. Oh. I want to live in Wales. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you can make us... some amazing drums like with cross stitches wrapped around them. They look amazing. That's why yeah. you're all inspired, isn't it? Yes. It yeah. was the ridiculousness of her Stilton sized. I don't, if people don't know Stilton, it's a cheese that comes in a block. This. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, I, I think Stilton's a blue, isn't it? It's a blue cheese. I thought it was, yeah. Yeah. And it comes in these massive drum shapes. Yeah. And of course, when you buy it, you buy a little bit. You don't, unless you're rich. I'm sure the big houses, the aristocracy buy a whole Stilton or 12. Um, but anyways, I really enjoy that. Such a different perspective. Um, she just knows different people. And also, even if you're looking in the same places, your algorithms are different. Different things show up to you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So, ha, now you're buying things on, on Etsy. I'm buying things on Etsy and I've got bloody, cut, well, not, I've got carts full. I've also um, been really inspired to do a Barbara Anna design. Oh, yes. Lockdown, and I've, I've pretty much nailed the 12 that I want. Really, and, you know, <laughs> reduced it down. Um, but I will wait. I love how measured you are. Just 12. Just 12, yeah. She's super cute. I, I, I do love her designs. And <clears throat> sorry, if you watched um, Michelle Bendisitcher, she's done one of hers where she's changed it. Yeah, she's um, made it to, her to represent the missing and murdered Indigenous women of America. Beautiful. The continent of America, I think, is an organization. And that's pretty cool. It just goes to show all the things you can do. Like you don't have to follow exactly what they say. She changed the colors. She put a hand over the mouth of, of the yeah. of the person. It was great. Yeah, it was based on the, was it dreaming of you or dreaming for you? Yeah, dreaming girl, I think. Dream, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it is very cute. I um, It's funny, isn't it? Because you were saying that you have a cart full of stuff. 
I, I'm always interested in and the things we can resist. Oh, apparently nothing. Apparently being in lockdown has completely reduced or completely eliminated my ability to say, no, I don't need this right now. I've got 12 other patterns to do. That's so fun. And you still owe us that meal in two years, yeah, year yeah. and a half. Year and a half. Now, hey, look, I'm making good progress. I'm even halfway through ones that weren't on that list. Can I just say that your saving grace is that Claire and I did not take notes? I know. <laughs> um, so I can... 100% resist patterns. Oh, no. Books, oh, no. books is a different story. I, I find it really hard to resist, but once the book is like in my heart, like I ordered a book today, I ordered Bisa Butler's um, quilting book. Lovely. Or portraits, I think. Um, I hope I ordered the right book. Anyway, I ordered it from Australia. Um, um, but they're in lockdown, so... <laughs> It's not going to arrive until who knows when, but I, I've been meaning to order it for ages, but now I've ordered it so I can forget about it. It's, yeah. it's in the ether somewhere for a nice point. surprise when it arrives. In like time. <clears throat> yeah. So I, I don't, I don't seem to be able to uh, resist that. I also struggle to resist um, antique te textiles from my collection mm -hmm. or modern textiles from my collection. I, I seem to find that difficult. <laughs> Or, you know, op shops. I find op shops difficult to resist. So it, it is, I just find it really fascinating, the things that prompt us, you know. Or if my girls want anything, I'm just the worst. I mean, I don't give them fluff, but, you know, if, like they know me. They know me so well, like Sophia saying, oh, hi, mom. I was just thinking, I really want to get these books. And I'm like, done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brilliant. I did suggest to her, <clears throat> I mean, she asks for Christmas and her birthday. I did say to her, you know, you might join the library. Is she not a member of the library up there? Um, I don't know. And she can get e-books and stuff, oh, but, uh, right, right, but there are right. books that she wants to buy. And of course, I'm trying to preach what I don't follow. I'm like, sweetie, you don't have to own every book you want. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the hypocrisy of parenting. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. So soon, maybe in three months, we will have the Bisa Butler book. <laughs> um, and I was trying to buy some vintage textiles from a dealer. And that kind of fell through. It was I've never bought on Instagram and it kind of went a bit weird and it just felt oh. a little bit dodgy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is so disappointing because it was a vintage blouse that was so beautiful. Anyway, I will show you the two things of beauty that were not my graduate degree. <laughs> <laughs> what are you more excited for, the degree, the certificate, or what you've got arrived? Oh, what well, I've got. In fact, I, when I got told that, you've graduated, we got an email. We got a very nice email from the director of the MBA program saying, it must be very disappointing for you that you, can't, you didn't come to the graduation, even though some of you have chosen to graduate in absentia. So within five minutes, I had emailed my my colleagues and said when we're out of lockdown let's go for a coffee to celebrate I am never going to study formally again <laughs> I remind you that, that in a year and a half time when you've signed up for something that was the most exciting bit like unless I did put like a unless it's a fine arts degree <laughs> brackets because I'm kind of I'm resisting a midlife crisis but you know it yeah, might end yeah. up being one I don't know anyway the thing of beauty I am so happy and this is cross stitch related can I just say um so one of my loves is the I don't know I'm not sure how you pronounce it the Hmong people from Thailand and um they're kind of a, a very large ethnic group that was pushed out of China and they've ended up in Vietnam Laos Thailand um and China still so it's the Miao people the Hmong people they're they're they've got a lot of similarities it's hand waving I'm excited hand waving <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> I ordered two panels of vintage, um, what do you call it, textile. Anyway, I'll show you the one that the family did not love as much. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't it? It is. Tell me, tell me if you can see it okay. I can see it, well, I can't see each individual stitch, but it's beautiful. So like, there's this like pie. chickens in the top. They're little birds. Yeah, and birds. you know, you could totally, not for design, but you know, just for your own thing, you could totally see this 
They're just gorgeous. You could do a, a little homage. You did a little I pattern running so in a bookmark would be gorgeous. Say that again. That little pattern running in a bookmark would be gorgeous. Yeah. Band up My the top. plan is what I was trying to, because you know the little housey. Mm -hmm. What I was plan, trying to buy was um, hand woven hemp. Okay. Um, to make curtains for the house. And they're, they're kind of beige. And I thought I could hang these panels of the beige. I mean, let's face it, I'm probably not going to have beige in my house, but you know, I really wanted that hemp. Um, you didn't anyway, like I it? think this is the thing of beauty. It made me so happy. I want to see it as well. It made me so happy. What was that? Wouldn't it fade if you hang it as curtains? I don't know. I mean, this is this is antique. This is old already. Mm -hmm. And I love the holes. Can I just say? Someone's hung it on hooks. I would just hang it on some something. Anyway, when you see it in person, you'll love it. Or at it, least you will tell me. I love it, it even seeing it um, through the Zoom. Yes, this was not a cheap purchase. I, I, I actually, I never lie to Martin. <laughs> I'm, I'm a confessor. You not do that thing where you just discount 50% and then tell them that's how much they paid you paid for it. No, I've never done that because I'm such a blurter. Oh, I do that. I get my yeah, mum and my sister like, asking me, how much did you pay for that? And I was like, oh, just not 50% off. And then say it was also on special. No, I cannot, I cannot see it as a feminist <laughs> issue because this is my husband and I have a good job and I, you know. Yep. Um, but I haven't mentioned amounts. <laughs> I've just glossed over that. <laughs> but... Can I just say one dollar? <laughs> yes, yeah. So anyway, so this is very beautiful. It will be well looked after. It's gorgeous. Yes. It'll be lovely hanging as like a palmet over a door. Like my Indian thing. Mm. Like my Indian thing. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. We're not seeing the palmet if you're trying to show us the game cover shelf. Um, the palmet there under the painting? Oh, yes, yes, I see that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yep. It's called the Turan. Love it. Um, anyway, so that was one. One thing of beauty. And it came in this envelope that looked like Look a... Look how neat the back is. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you think I'm being targeted? <laughs> <laughs> They've got a few threads. They're human. And see, what I love about this is that they don't use hoops. Well, maybe they do now, I don't know, but they didn't use, use hoops. I use hoops. Don't judge people who use hoops. No, I'm not judging, but what I'm saying, it's totally possible. I'm not the only weirdo that wants to not use a hoop. That's my point. See, I wouldn't use I'm saying that people are using teacher. to judge me, and I'm just, like, defending myself. Uh, Remember Victoria? Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. Anyway, not everybody's interested, but it is crosses. It's cross it's gorgeous. Very beautiful. I, the other thing is I, I don't use silk. I'm pretty sure that the thread is silk. It's incredibly glossy. Oh. Um, this is thing of beauty number two. Oh, oh my God, you drew breath. Stunning. Oh Hold it up. That's stunning. Oh, that is gorgeous. See, I think, in a way, this was the universe saying, well done, Catherine, for trying to do an MBA. <laughs> and well done, Catherine, for quitting an MBA. <laughs> oh, Catherine, that's beautiful. It is a thing of beauty, is it not? Oh, it is. I love well, it so much. Do you have an idea about what you're going to do with it? Or just... It's going to be the same thing. Well... I have a lot of textiles. I haven't shown all the textiles on the program because I have a lot. And then suddenly I'll open another door and I'll be like, oh, I'm that. <laughs> you still have your suitcase full of the Peruvian textiles you bought back? I've tried to display a bit more, but I still have some under the desk. Nice. Yes. Show yes. those one day too. They're beautiful. Yes. But the nice thing is because we're going to have two houses for a little while, um, I'll be able to have some displaying in um, Waikowaiti. Lovely. Anyway. So this is it. I don't have 12 things in my cart, but I can't resist this. It's beautiful. And again, you know, all these all these designs that that kind of talk to knitting and yep. other countries. And I just I just find those things so lovely. 
That's beautiful. Very lovely. Is the thread variegated? Or is it um, or is it just that the, the camera is a little bit out of focus, not a little bit out of focus, but it's just the zoom quality where it just looks <clears> a bit. There are different colored threads, but I don't actually think they're variegated. I think right. it's um they do a little bit with red and a little bit with pink. Right. Because I can't see any bits where it starts changing slowly. Oh my god, I found a bit that wasn't crossed. This sounds like it was aimed at me. Look, all these are just lines. They forgot to cross them. <laughs> Pretty brilliant. Brilliant. Oh. Got a lovely stitch on the hem there too. Yes. I think that's a bit of pearl cotton. Anyway, so I'm super happy. Excellent. I'm a cheap date. I just need an, anti an antique or vintage textile to keep me happy. Anyway, I'm very happy with those. I will look after them. I'm indoctrinating the babies so that they will know they will inherit this. <laughs> I bet they're thrilled. Or else it'll go to a museum because you cannot send this to the op shop afterwards. No, no. That make me mad. Um, so there's a couple of things to talk about, but I just want to show what I've been working on, which is non... Oh, no, maybe let's do the shout out. So I, a person that I wanted to shout out that was going to be my shout out for today was these 20 Stitches, who did the trans... Um, unicorn. Pardon, the unicorn, yes. So I've been watching her channel. She's got two out. I really like their style. They're funny. Yeah. Um, I've learned a little bit from her. I've had things confirmed from her. So that was really good. Um, so yeah, go and follow. You know, I like to follow people that are different from me. And they're Canadian, which is kind of cool. Vancouver, maybe we can be friends. And, um, you know, Vancouver Island is just across the border, across the water and, you know, whale watching and all that. <laughs> no? oh, um, wow. So, well, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into that thing, Victoria. Okay, we'll do it next time. Yeah, I'll do it next time. I just, I'm a bit tired. I'm, I've got excuses. I'm, I'm a bit of a wuss. Okay, so I did, um, I worked on a project that I haven't brought out. So if you're not interested in the other beautiful things I spend time doing, and you can show us your dolly as well, Victoria. Oh, I found her. I found her. She you was know under exactly the bed. where she is. She was on her bed. She was on your bed. Under the bed. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there, yeah. Um, so... <clears throat> Nobody will know, darling. Martin's been to do a shop and he's putting things away now. And so we're grateful for the shop, um, but still. Anyway, I am making myself an item of clothing inspired by English smocks from Ooh. back in the 17th, 18th century England. He really is trying to be quiet. Um, so I'm not following the stitch because my preferred stitch is chain stitch and the smocks were made in fly stitch, which is not my favorite stitch. So I don't have to follow those rules. So I've changed it to chain stitch. Um, and so I've been working on that. So I bought a, per, a mustard linen. I bought this about a year ago. I've been working on this for a year. Um, and so you will have seen them and this was smocked. Yeah. And then they would have this on the sides. Anyway, the idea was that it would show, it would protect your clothing, yeah. but it would also show your trade. So if you were an agrarian worker and worked in the fields, it might have like embroidered wheat yeah. or stuff like that. If you worked with sheep, it would have a staff. Um, staff. Um, anyway, I am a crafter. So I did... My knitting needles beautiful and a needle with a thread yeah and then I got stuck I was like what else am I going to do I was trying to do a ball of wool but it was so complicated to think how to embroider, uh, embroider that mm -hmm. yesterday I woke up and I was like I'm going to do a quilt I'm going to do a little quilt square <sighs> so Yikes. so this is going to be the, the very the very common very very well-known and identifiable star Yep, so another one. one point of the star, another one, another one, another. So mm -hmm. very excited. So I've made progress. I've made the actual grid 
Excellent. Awesome. So you've mirrored it. Yes, because so you get, end up one picture here, one picture there, and same yeah. on the back. Oh, nice. So I have got a little bit more space. I thought I would do a thimble Cute. as well. Yeah. And then I might do some rice stitch or something like that. It doesn't have to be like super full. But I also did the other side. And with this one, because of course I don't measure, <laughs> there is slightly more space. So I've got more space to fiddle around with. So I might do maybe some scissors, something like that, and a thimble. Cute. I shall see. So I feel kind of enthused and excited about this now. Um, so I will continue on. So I'm in a mood to finish things. And one of the things, one of my purchases that fell through was the equivalent of a smock, but from Eastern Europe. And I think that's why I slept with that idea and I woke mm -hmm. up with a quilt. It was sad. It was a very beautiful. Oh, has it definitely fallen through? I just don't feel comfortable. Sure. And I've noticed that they keep, they've got three accounts with different names with the same products. Right. <clears throat> and it makes me think, are they bona fide? I just, it just, I just haven't felt comfortable. And then I tried to find find out the rules about Instagram selling, whether it was allowed, so that you could have some recourse if something went wrong. Anyway, this is not the time to be having things sent to the to New Zealand anyway. But it was sad. And also, even though I sound like I'm silly, I do have a like a limit. There's a limit. Yeah. So anyway, very excited about this. So I'll, I will continue. This is the thing. When I can't afford something, I think, oh, I'll just make it. So I'm making it. <laughs> can't wait um, to see it. So the other things, which again, I'm not going to open up. Of course, did you notice how I didn't do my quilt videos because lockdown and I just wasn't in the mood? Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's coming along nicely. I finished it. Oh, even the binding? No, no, no. I finished the quilting. You finished the quilty bit, yeah. Yes, um, and I did lots of, I don't know if you can see it, but lots of meandering. Yep, we can see that, it's gorgeous. For the edges, so I'm very happy with this. And I, I cut the batting down now, I've cut all the edges and they're lovely and wobbly, I'm so happy. Because sometimes the universe messes with me and I'm like, I'm trying to have wobbly curves and it's like, no, we're gonna be dead straight, <laughs> annoying. So anyway, I did that and I have my binding ready. Good. So I know double binding. So it would be double that. Hold it up. Yes. Yeah, so normally I would have double this. Yep. So that when you put it on, it's four layers. Yep. But I was watching um a video of um a very famous quilter whose name I've forgotten. Um, but she before she became a quilter, she was a folk singer. And she used to live on an island somewhere. Anyway, oh, the name's on the tip of my tongue. This is annoying. Anyway, she was she was um, doing this tiny little video where she was explaining that the Amish don't do the mite. Traditionally, didn't used to do the mitered corner. I don't know if they do now, but they didn't used to do the mitered corner. They just used to go straight down and then straight across. Oh, look like that, right? Yes. Yes, but they had, she, she showed us how it was, and it was just yeah. so beautiful and simple. And she said they also didn't do double binding oh so did so they kind of in the back of my mind pardon do they leave a raw edge no 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 when i say double binding i mean like when you cut your binding you would cut this much yeah so you're folding it once and then twice so it would be like me doing this and then still having enough to attach it to my yeah project. so that's how, how when i've bind, bound a quilt i've had my bit of material fold it in half mm -hmm. and then you fold these in that's very technical come out yes so that's and my that's binding and the here. quilty meat goes in there yes so and that's what i'm doing here yeah but what i'm saying is double that fabric oh. so before you even start the folding yep you have double the fabric okay so you start here and you have mm -hmm. and then you're going to do your folding Okay. So in effect, that edge, right on the edge of your quilt, is actually two whole layers of fabric. Okay, right. Um, so anyway, it was kind of in the back of my mind that I was going to try that because let's face it, I'm around, I can darn <laughs> things go. Anyway, so I'm really happy. I've tried to use um, 
some of the fabrics that are on the back. There's a lot of these fabrics on the back of the, the quilt. Yep. Which is why my ironing board was out twice this week. My favorite op shop fabrics. Lots of different reds that I've used in other things. Lots of this. Oh, I love that one. I think it's silk. It was it that op shop blouse that I talked about. Mm. Um, I don't know how well it will last because it's much thinner than the other fabrics, but I'm trying not to care. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy. And it, it, one of the things that I love about the way I quilt and people like me quilt is that you then get this family of quilts and you have the same sort of fabrics across all of them. Yeah, and you can see the yeah, tiny I love bit. It. Yeah. So, yeah. And I ironed it, so it's kind of ready. I'm ready to start binding now. Excellent. That'll only yeah. take you a day, won't it? I have a job, Victoria. It'll take me a week. You're going to do a week to the binding? Okay. It's, it's all done by hand, so. And also, <laughs> someone, someone was asking me for advice to not wreck your hands quilting. And I gave her all the advice I don't follow. <laughs> I did say, I was like, I don't do any of this. I, I can quilt for six hours and then I pay for it. But um, I was saying, you should really take a break after 20 minutes. Can you imagine me being sensible like that? Oh. It was funny. So, yes, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to this. And then there'll be another quilt done. And then I can start doing the binding for Chris, the backing for Christina's. Excellent. Uni. Christina, need that applied to uni now. It's all done. Which uni do we allow to know? Oh, Otago. Nice. She was always going to go to Otago. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was looking at Wellington as well. No, good Lord, no. No. She has, um, she has built really good networks here for all her volunteer work for Quarantine Island and stuff like that. She doesn't want to lose that. Excellent. So, and I get to see her more often no. I hope yeah yes yeah. yes um yes yeah, so I have got that quilt to finish I have until February to finish that quilt but you know I'll get it, it done takes the time for you. of course especially if we have our little retreat I yes. can really focus yes which retreat is that is that <laughs> we've got about six retreats happening did you know that no the others are just ideas the retreat is when we go to, to quarantine island yeah, we haven't actually booked that in yet have we no, there's a lockdown going on. <laughs> but I am hoping that maybe September. That would be perfect, yep. Wouldn't that be great? Because I think it'll start getting a bit warmer. Oh, my God, today was like spring. It was ridiculous. Oh, it was lovely today. I barely, yep. I don't have to start. I'm in the back of my house and not one bit of sunshine comes through the window on this room. But I can see it on the lawn in front of me. And it looks lovely. Only in winter, though. Only in winter, yep. yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it is funny because Marty and I, go on what we call urban walks which are always at night time and they're always around the houses to have a look at the houses nice and normally he says no to me like I really have to beg oh please that means that my parents used to do that we used to have a big garden and after dinner they would go for a walk up and down our big garden lovely and the kids were not invited and so that's a really lovely memory lovely. Um, so I'm, I'm always about the urban walks but of course I'm in the blinking men perimenopause and he's always been my weatherman so I'm like how should I dress <laughs> and of course, he really feels the cold now. He's like, oh, it's cold. You have to put a jacket on. And I'm dying there with my <laughs> taking layers off. Hilarious. Uh, but anyway, um, is that it? That could be it. And this is why I tell you that, Catherine, we haven't been recording. No, we have. <laughs> no, we have. <laughs> I'm thinking of not recording Spanish tonight. You could do it tomorrow in the daytime. Well, I do get at my, my lunch hour. I, I thought I could do it then. Yeah. You have to make me. if I have to get it done tomorrow. All right. I'll, I'll harass you on that. On I the... kind of feel a little, a little bit less motivated because I'm doing it on my own. And it's, it, that's a different experience altogether. But yeah. also... Um, you may not know that when Catherine, does, <laughs> when Catherine does do a Spanish one, I'm usually sitting in front of her stitching or, you know, being the cheerleader, loading up the well, English Sometimes she laughs at my jokes. Um, even though they're in Spanish. And apparently I'm not funny, so. <laughs> uh, so everyone who's watching, thank you for watching and sticking it out with us. Hope this yes, and also there's still a pandemic going on. So if you're in another part of the world, please look after yourself. Yes, yeah, stay safe. If you can vaccinate, vaccinate. 
Yep. Um, choose. Oh, I know, I know, I know. This is exciting. Okay. In the comments, the people that do comment, because we do get a few and it's very exciting. Um, what, are, what is the thing you can't resist? Like in lockdown, what was the thing? Was yeah. it a food thing or was it like the Etsy cart, <laughs> like Victoria, yeah. or were you buying too many books? Yeah. Were you <laughs> eating honey roasted peanuts and drinking orange juice for like three meals a day? <laughs> yes. Oh. It'd be nice to, to find out. Anyway, everybody look after yourselves. Thank you, Victoria, for figuring this out. No problem. Let's hope it works. Yes. And we shall see you in a fortnight. Yeah. So bye, everyone. We'll bye. see you in a fortnight. Hopefully we'll get out of lockdown and back together. <laughs>